Hi, my name is John Givens, and today we're going to look at correcting a left innominate rotation, and this time it's coming posteriorly. So the PSIS on the left would be inferior compared to the right side, and the ASIS would appear to be superior on the left side compared to the right, and possibly the medium malleolus on the left leg would appear to be shorter. To correct the left side, what we're going to do, we're going to use the rectus femoris muscle. So we ask the patient to push down into the couch onto this left leg, please. So she's activating the rectus femoris for 10 seconds, which induces an anterior pull. After the 10 seconds, relax, and you slowly lift your leg up a couple of inches. Now place the arm under, and then interlock the fingers, and then relax, please. And then what I'm going to do is slowly extend the hip and then adduct, and increase the anterior movement from the PSIS in an anterior direction as it goes forward there. From that position of bind, if I ask you to push the leg down again, please. So she's pushing the leg, activating the rectus femoris for 10 seconds. After the 10 seconds contraction, relax, take a breath. And as I breathe in and breathe out, I then extend, adduct, and then roll that innominate anteriorly. You can apply a little thrust if you want to. Be careful, especially for the lumbar sacral junction, because the facet might get irritated. If it does, maybe place one or two pillows under the lumbar spine. And you can repeat this two or three times. Once you feel it's in a better position, bring the leg back down, and then you can reassess. The alternative technique for this one is, if a leg is very heavy, let's say we have a posterior on the right side, then if I bend the knee, so we can do exactly the same, push your knee into the couch, please, activate in the right rectus femoris. After 10 seconds, relax, take a breath, and as she breathes in and breathes out, my hand on a PSIS, I slowly bring the leg into extension, and adduction, and this hand is increasing the anterior motion of the innominate, and I could almost pulse this technique to encourage that anterior glide. Or I could, from there, do a little thrust to make sure it's in its correct position. And this is normally done if a leg is heavy. So that would be a correction for a innominate that is rotated in a posterior direction.